out of this MMA guard, out of this turtle guard, out of this continuously resetting high guard defense, we can throw such incredible power punches, especially just the straight jab and cross, which are usually long range weapons, which are usually weapons boxers use at a distance, rhythming with their feet, blocking with their hands. We're not using our hands and feet at all. We assume that the opponent has already closed the distance, has already cut off the ring, cut off any escape angles, and a punch is coming out our head. So we have to move. It's too late to move our feet. Can't even block it. Things coming right at our face. It's like somebody's throwing a ball. You just gotta use that jerk reaction to move. And leave something there, leave a present there. Obviously the long range boxing technique, Russian Cuban system, the amateurs, the pros there, whatever you want to call it, this kind of long guard, Muhammad Ali style with the arms either up or down, front arm either up or down, rear arm in this kind of defensive position, guarding against the left hook. That's great for long range, but when you get in close, or if you're talking about defending against takedowns or defending against kicks to the body, legs, or head, absolutely cannot use this stance. You have to use this modified stance that Boss Rutten kind of created through Pancrase and Pancration, this kind of forward angulated stance, which just lends itself much better to, uh, to fighting. And it loads up this power jab and this power two. Unlike the traditional two, which has to travel all the way from back here, in the, po in the peekaboo stance, the rear shoulder isn't all the way back here. It's right behind the front shoulder. It's loaded up, it's ready to go. And the front shoulder is already loaded up for either the front jab or the front hook. And we're resetting all the time. Unlike outside, occasionally, every three or four seconds, we're gonna reset. In here, we're constantly slipping, constantly using head feints, level changes. And of course, that power double and triple jab. Instead of blocking with the hands and with the feet, we're blocking with the shoulders, with the forehead, we're slipping, we're attempting not to block at all. 